there is the Salem Witch Museum right there. And that right there is the Hawthorne Hotel right there. Hey guys, welcome back to another adventure. Not an abandoned one, but hopefully a haunted one. Today I'm at the Hawthorne Hotel in Salem, Massachusetts, and I am staying in a haunted room, room 325 at the Hawthorne Hotel. In room 325, the room I'm staying in tonight, and room 612 are supposed to be the most haunted rooms in this hotel. Why, I'm not sure, but most of the activity has been reported to be coming out of this room and room 612. This room has been known to have faucets go on and on, lights flickering, hearing babies cry, voices upstairs when there is no one renting any rooms upstairs, that kind of thing. And in room 612, I think there's a reported um, apparition of a woman that's been seen and roams the halls. This is my buddy over here, by the way. I brought him for ambiance. As I did bring a lot of equipment to try and catch some paranormal activity, but Salem is known for obviously its, its history. Salem is known for its witch history. The Salem witch trials of the late 1600s, early 1700s, and the hotel, the property that this hotel sits on dates back to that era. Before this was the Hawthorne Hotel, it was a building called the Federal Building, which was built um, where the Marine Society held their meetings here. And before that, it was the property of Bridget Bishop, who was one of the first witches to be executed. And this was her property. She used to have an apple orchard here. So this was her property. So this dates back. It's been many things throughout the years. And tonight, we're going to see if we can capture any activity. I'm hoping that we can. It's been touted as America's most haunted hotel. Ghost Adventures did an investigation back in, I, I want to say either 2007 or 2009. Um, in the 90s, I guess the, there was a, a, a paranormal group who tried the, to contact Harry Houdini. Um, not that he died here, but they tried to do a seance to try and capture Harry Houdini. Anyways, I'm excited to bring you guys along on this adventure. This is out of my comfort zone. I wanted to do something um, a little crazy. It's actually nice to be doing an explore where um, I'm inside. I'm not actually outside freezing to death and worrying, hey, is my car still going to be there when I get back? So doing something like this is a little bit of a luxury to me. And uh, like I said, it is reported to be America's most haunted hotel. And guys, I can't wait to bring you along with me. And when I say we, I mean you and me. Let's go find out if this hotel is haunted. All right, guys, so I just got off the elevator in this hotel. Wow, look at this. I mean, you're seeing it literally as I'm seeing it for the first time. All right, where's my room? This really looks creepy like you would expect to see like two little girls standing at the end of the hallway, <laughs> something like that. Oh my god. Look at this. Room 325. Whoa. Look at this. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna put all my stuff down, but look at this. Okay. Now that I get in here, I got my bags down. I'm probably going to put them in the closet behind me, but let me just show you and give you a tour of this room. It is absolutely incredible. And um, funny story is when I went to actually rent this room specifically, um, I, I happened to be in Salem and 
I came in here to get this room and I requested room 325 and she said, well, the only time I have available is on the 24th. And I'm like, that's my birthday. I'm like, I'll take it. So um, I treated myself and unfortunately this, I, I haven't, it's not really unfortunate. It's pretty cool, but I mean, I, I paid for it. Um, <clears throat> this is a suite. So this is only like one of like two bedrooms that that's here. There's chandeliers everywhere. So let me just give you a walkthrough of this place. I mean, look how classy that is. Logo right there, a full length mirror right there, little writing desk. The ship came cock built by J. Hall, East Boston, 1850. Oh, look at that. I haven't decided which bed I'm gonna take. I'm probably gonna take this room right here. All right, so this is just the room for the shower. All right, so, and you have your bathroom. Oh, look at that, all set up. You have body lotions and your shampoos and conditioners. And I don't know, what is that? What is that? I don't know, body wash, fancy towels, all folded up like that. Got a mirror right there, right there. And then it connects into my other bedroom. <laughs> and of course, there's a chandelier right there. It's reported to be one of the most haunted hotels in America for several reasons. And we'll get into that in a little bit. But yeah, this is crazy, huh guys? Can't wait to check this place out. So guys, this is the ballroom, and I was just told that little beam right there that you see, right there was where the original wall ended. So all of this was added on after the fact. So this is the ballroom right here. Look how beautiful it is. Doesn't it remind you of like, like old colonial New England? Look at this. So this is the ballroom. Like I said, that beam right up there is where the original wall was. So where I'm standing right here, this is all added on. guys I was just told I was just told that this mail slot right here is an all pre World War II buildings it's a gravity mailbox and I'll show you where I, I noticed this on the third floor and this is where it all would end up that is so cool Gravity mailbox. All right, let's get out of this elevator. And this is what I was noticing right here, right before I jumped on the elevator. Right here, I was like, why does this say US mail? And then there's this little slot that's right there, it's hollow, and it goes all the way up to the whole top of the building. And it's a gravity mail slot and all buildings I guess pre-World War II had had these in them so you would write your letter and just drop it in the slot and it would uh and it would end up there so it's getting a little later in the night it's uh almost 10 o'clock I'm probably gonna start doing an investigation sometime around midnight. Once it quiets down in the hotel a little bit, there's a function going on downstairs. All right, let me go to my room. How creepy is this freaking hallway? Jeez.
night, guys. Sorry it's so dark. What the? The heat's just kicking in. But, uh, guys, sorry it's so dark. Um, it's just past midnight right now. It's 1213. And I'm going to go around right now with um, my K2 and just see if I can maybe kind of get any kind of um, activity off the K2. So let's start with that. All right, it's just 12.13 a.m. in the morning. I've got things kind of lit. I have the lights dim, the chandeliers, they dim, so I kind of dim them. And uh, what's that? What is that? What's that line going through? What the? What is that? All right, guys, well, let's see if we can capture any kind of activity. I don't know what that bar is that's going through. I don't know if that's picking up, but we'll see if I get any activity. I just turned on the K2. And uh, I got a little blip. All right. I don't know if you guys can see that little bar that's going up through the camera, but I seem to be having, I believe it or not, some, some difficulties <laughs> with my camera. With my camera. All right, that just kind of went off. Is someone in the bathroom with me? Are, are you messing with my camera right now? I don't know if anybody can see this, if I'm picking this up on film, I might have to just stop this and see if that's actually recording the little line that keeps going up through the bottom of my, my, my camera right there. Is there someone here with me that's messing up this device? Yo, oh, oh, okay. Could you make it go off again? Thank you. What is going on with my camera? I've been filming already, and you guys have seen I've already been filming, so I don't know what that line is. I've brought some items that maybe you might be interested in. If there's a female spirit here at all, there's a doll here, if that interests you. If anybody's here, could you please touch this device that I'm holding in my hand right here? There's some objects that are here for you. Oh, I got a little activity there. Are you trying? Are you trying to touch the doll? Oh, okay. Thank you. If that's you trying to communicate, you like the doll. What about the skull? Does the skull interest you at all? I brought this from home. You like the doll? Could you set this device off, please? Thank you. All right, so right off the bat, it seems like I'm getting some sort of activity on this K2 meter over by, over by the doll. There, I don't have anything on. This is right next to the TV, right under this light. Obviously, it's, it's, it's not setting it off. It's not setting it off. Do you like her? Can you see me at all? I wish I could see you. Wow. Let's see if there's any kind of activity going on in this room. I have another skull in here. I brought these items for you out of interest. Maybe something you see will interest you at all. Is he 
See, now I'm not even getting that little band that was, I don't know how to explain it. There's like a little band that keeps going up on the, on the camera. I don't understand what this is. I brought a, I brought a rosary. Is that something that you might be interested in? No. All right, so there's something over here that's obviously activated in this K2. I think we should try a voice recorder. All right, so anyways, I'm back. We're gonna do a voice recording and the problems I'm having tonight are kind of crazy. So I just wanted to show you, this is usually how I film myself, this little remote right here. Let me turn it on for a second. Now I fully charged this thing before I left as I charged everything. You always charge everything. And it's flashing. See that? It's flashing. It won't work. <laughs> Let me shut it off. But these are the problems I've been having. That strange line that was going through. Uh, Alright, anyways, th that's the problems I'm having, so we're back. I'm going to do a voice recording. I just wanted to let you know what this is. This is a black light. I used it, A, for checking the sanitary of the hotel sheets, and they're fine. Um, but yeah, they're fine. Um, I brought this black light to just place in front of the object of interest, which is this doll, which is, I, I got some activity on the EMF around this doll, so I want to place this black light here and you'd be able, you'll be able to see any kind of movement that passes in front of it. Um, that's kind of crazy looking, but you'll see any kind of movement. If there were to be any kind of mist, you know, <laughs> then you'd be able to catch that with the, the black light. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to start a voice recording and recording now. Hi, my name is Marlo. Can you tell me what your name is if you're here? Was that you that was um, interfering with my camera and making the uh, K2 meter go off? Is this doll here that I brought an object of interest to you? All right, let's just see what we got. Did you hear a little something? I don't know if I can just like rewind to that last part when I asked about the doll. I thought I actually heard something. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna just listen to it again. I want to see if I heard, heard something. Hold on. Not here. Was that you that was um, interfering with my camera and making the uh, K2 meter go off? Is this doll here that I brought an object of interest to you? Did you hear that, guys? When I first asked, let me see if I can roll up. Let's see if I can play that again. Is this doll here that I brought an object of interest to you? 
Did you hear that? All right, I'm gonna, let's do another one. All right, let's just see what we got. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Holy shit. Is this doll here that I brought an object of interest to you? I seem to think that we got a response on that last part where I asked if about the doll. I, I, I heard something faint. Please listen with your headphones and tell me what you think. I think I either heard a yes or it could have possibly been a no, but I think I heard a yes. So let's just try this again. Okay. All right, I'm recording now. I, I brought this doll for you. Um, if, if you're the one trying to communicate me and you're attracted to this doll, well, I'm glad I brought it for you. Um, can you let me know if you're male or female? What era are you from? Are you Bridget? Is it Bridget that's here with me? I could be reaching, but that would be awesome. I'm sorry what happened to you. Am I alone here? Are you with me? something. All right, but let's just listen. Let's finish. I don't think I caught anything. Um, I'll give it one more shot. It's just that it was interrupted because I thought I actually heard something. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's 2.24 in the morning. All right, well, I'm gonna try this pendulum and it's uh, kind of on the idea of a Ouija board, but not really. Um, if you wanna know, a, a, what a pendulum is and all about that i'll just i'll leave a link down below if you want to read about it what i'm doing it now is i'm holding it like this some people hold it like this and that's okay too it's all a matter of preference and some people hold it like this i feel like i have better control to leave it steady i mean there is going to be movement no matter what 
be just be, just because it but it all is your intent I'm gonna stay focused I have some uh, positive crystals around and um, as you saw it has no yes maybe rephrase I'm gonna try and just set it to so how we know what's no and what's yes and we'll see if we can get anybody to communicate this way all right so stay center focus and it's moving and swinging just a teeny bit just because it, I'm human uh, it's not really doing anything okay if, if there's anyone here that would like to communicate please do so through these tools All right, I'm just getting a little bit of a, a rotating motion Is this yes or is this no? What does this mean? Can I assume this to be yes? Oh, okay. Could you show me no? It's going straight up and down for no, which kind of correlates to how this is set up. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this to stay still. So no is up and down and yes is a circle. All right, let's ask it something simple. Is today Saturday morning, early Saturday? I got a, all right, yeah, I got a little bit of a circle happening. All right, so I'll take that as a yes. Is my name Marlo? Huh. All right, I don't know if you can see this, but it's going up and down straight up and down and that's a no which I kind of find amusing <laughs> um, I'm gonna stop this for a second my name is not Marlo it's Marla and uh, it's funny that I asked that and I figured it would just go yes and, and, and it said no <laughs> all right so I guess that's a good sign so please find center stay focused So we do know that somebody was here tonight. And you were attracted to the doll. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of a circular motion. So it's a yes, okay. All right, please return to center if you can. Are you Bridget? No. Okay. Well, whoever was with us tonight, they were attracted to the doll. So I think that's a pretty cool thing. Oh, look at this. It's going in a circle. Uh, you were attracted to the doll. Yes, yes. I want to thank you for visiting with me and entertaining me a little bit with your presence. Um, I hope you're at peace. Right, this is saying no. You're not at peace? is going right to the center it's not even moving are you at peace
right circle and it's staying in the center. All right, let me ask something else. Anything I should ask? I basically want to thank you for communicating with me as best as you can. Wow. This is really interesting. You do feel, let me just interrupt this for a minute. In using this, you you can, you, you feel a pull. I don't know how to explain it, but you feel like some sort of a pull towards the direction that it wants to go in. And when it was, when I was asking it to return to center, it almost felt like it was like drawn to go to the center. So it's really strange. I'm gonna put this down. Just see that light just kind of kind of flicker on. That first light right there. Well, good morning guys. It's the next day. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> just woke up basically. Yeah, just woke up. Let me get on film. But I uh, just want to thank you for coming along. Last night was crazy. I really had some problems and some issues with my camera. My remote didn't work. There was black lines going through uh, the screen. It was just nuts. And uh, I do believe that I actually got some sort of activity. But let me know what you think. And guys, I will see you on the next one. See you later. <laughs>